This is Kaylee Gonzalez with MLC CAD Systems. Thank you very much for joining me for part two of this mini series on SOLIDWORKS surfacing for repairing part files. If you have missed section one, you can take a look at that at any time. It is posted on our YouTube channel. In part one, we went over the yellow drill bit example that you see on my screen. We took a look at using some surfacing techniques in order to get rid of some extra faces that didn't need to be there. You can also take a look out for part three. Part three is going to be a combination of what we talked about in part one and then also what I'm going to talk about in this particular video. Now in this video, we're going to be focusing on the middle section. I'm going to take an imported step file and we're going to take a look at some surfacing techniques that we can use when certain faces or surfaces just don't come in correctly. So the first thing that we want to do is jump into SOLIDWORKS and we're going to insert our step file. As I insert this, notice that I'm using an older parsing tool. Uh, the default insert method is using 3D interconnect, but I want to use this import diagnostics. The reason why I want to use the import diagnostics is because it's going to allow me to see that there are a couple faces that might have some issues with them and you can see them highlighted. Now the import diagnostics also allows us to try to heal everything that has an issue with it. And in general, the tool does a very good job, but if there is a geometric issue with a face or a surface, the tool itself may not be able to repair the problem for you, as is the case here. Now, one of the things I'm going to do, first of all, is to take a look at the curvature. Now, if you look at all the fillets, all the fillets are like a solid brown, but there's this black portion on the face that's failing. And that is not expected if this was done with a true fillet. So we're going to have to use some surfacing techniques to fix that issue. I'm going to show you one method that you can use in some situations and i'm going to explain why it doesn't necessarily work in this one but it is a technique you can use and it is to delete the face and then use something like a loft or a boundary surface or even a filled surface to try to recreate just the face itself and on first glance it looks like it does a really good job but please make sure that you double check any sharp corners there is actually a gap in there that would actually prevent this from merging into a solid body because it's not considered watertight and the surface itself was not going to be correct so in this situation that's not going to be a valid way to approach this but in some situations depending on the model you can absolutely do that I'm going to copy a couple of faces that you see here in bluish green. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to actually go and isolate them. My goal with this is to recreate that corner and actually utilize a SOLIDWORKS fillet feature. So the intent here is that I'm going to extend the faces or the edges of these surfaces. By extending the edges, I want to make sure that they overlap. This is a common practice inside of surfacing because we're going to be able to utilize some trim tools and to trim an item, we typically need them to be intersecting or overlapping. So as I go into my trim surface, I'm going to use a mutual trim. That's going to allow me to trim multiple surfaces with respect to each other and then I can choose what I want to keep. Now, what I'm going to keep is hiding. And so when I click OK, you'll see how that inverts. But I now have a nice, sharp, crisp corner that I can apply my three millimeter fillet to. And this applies like any other SOLIDWORKS fillet. And I'm also guaranteed that that corner is going to be correct. Now, when I'm dealing with a mixture of solid and surface bodies, I sometimes will go ahead and change the color of the surface body. It's just a visualization tool so that I know what I'm referencing in comparison to a surface or a solid so everything's not gray. Right now I'm going to hide it because I'm going to delete a series of faces that I essentially just made duplicate copies of. Once I delete that, I'm going to go ahead and show my new surface and it fits perfectly, which is what I wanted. And I can go ahead and create a solid out of those. 
in order to fix that face. And we can verify that it's been fixed by taking a look at the curvature, which it is brown as we would expect it to be. It means that the curvature is constant. So thank you for joining me on video two. I'm gonna wrap up today's example. Please watch out for video three that'll be posted to our YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for your time and your attention and I'll see you in the last upcoming video.